Thanks. We're here at Space Launch Complex 41. As you can see, OSIRIS-REx is prepared for launch just behind us. The launch pad here will be used for future astronaut missions to the International Space Station, as will SpaceX's launch pad 39A, just a few miles north of us. I'm here with NASA's John Cowart from the Commercial Crew Program. John, can you tell us a little bit about the Commercial Crew Program? Sure, the Commercial Crew Program is enabling private companies like SpaceX and Boeing to take astronauts to low Earth orbit. What this will eventually do is allow them to take anybody who qualifies to go up to low Earth orbit to any station that might be created privately or, or anything else in low Earth orbit. So it's, it's really enabling a great capability for the United States. So there's been a lot of work here along the Space Coast to prepare for commercial crew. Right. Can you tell us what's happening? Oh, sure. First of all, a lot of things are going on, and we'll start here at LC-41. What you see behind us, of course, is a launch pad for an Atlas rocket. This one's going to carry OSIRIS-REx. But in the future, you see that new structure for the viewers. If they look just to the right of the rocket itself, you'll see a tower that has been built for crew access exclusively. This is going to allow astronauts to go up to the top, and you'll see a little white room there off to one side of it. That's where they're going to board the rocket that will carry them up into space. Now, that's what's going on here at LC-41. Uh, over at what we call the C-3PF, they're actually building what Boeing calls the Starliner. This is their CST-100, used to be called that, but now it's the Starliner, and that's actually going to carry the astronauts. And so for SpaceX, right up the road in this direction, they've been modifying the old LC-39A. And what they've done is they, they, they built their horizontal integration building. They are modifying the tower. Uh, they have a uh, crew access arm also in work that they'll be installing later this year, doing a lot of checkout. And of course, they're modifying their cargo dragon spacecraft and making it into a crew dragon. And that's happening largely out at Hawthorne, but there's just all kinds of activity going on. I've heard that there are benefits with the commercial crew program, both mm -hmm. for the nation and for the International Space Station. Can you tell us a little more? Uh, the benefits are fantastic. The, the journey to Mars is going to require a dedicated team. And that dedicated team can now focus on that task. They don't have to worry about getting stuff to low Earth orbit, which is where commercial crew comes in. We're going to enable the capability and free those folks up to worry about deep space. And we're going to worry about getting things to low Earth orbit using SpaceX and Boeing. This allows uh, money to be spent more on the deep space stuff, which we care deeply about. We all want to get to Mars at some point. So that's the real thing. It, it frees up some money and also allows a dedicated team to go do that very important work. Perfect. And the, my last question for you is there's a lot of t talk about research. We know that these vehicles will carry a fourth astronaut who will be able to almost double the amount of time dedicated to scientific research. Right. What does that mean for our journey to Mars? Oh, that's going to enable us to learn so much more. Like you were indicating, right now up on the station, they spend a lot of their time doing maintenance and things like that that have to happen. When we can get these folks carrying up four at a time, you're going to get more research. Well, that's all we have here at the pad. Back to you.